of his eye. Sit right down, we're gonna give you the scoop with Ryan Pfeiffer and Lisa Doop. Shamalama ding dong loop de loop. This is the story of a guy named Mr. Boop. Hi everyone, you're being Mr. Boop. Um y- you're being My Mr. name Boop. is Lisa Doop and I'm No, Mr. you're Boop. being Mr. Boop. That t- that tagline was just silence. Okay. Yeah. Tagline off for Ryan, Winky Face. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't even remember. <laughs> Maybe I did it and just framed you. Who knows? Yeah, I, I, I figure that's. Didn't I also do one where I did where I? No. All right. What... Not yet. Just go. Just go. <laughs> Uh, my name is Lisa Lee, and I'm Mr. Boop. My name is Ryan Pfeiffer, and you know the rest. You know, and you now you know the rest of the story. Uh, Ryan, it's Friday for April 30th, 2020, and today we're reading the 74th ever Mr. Boop strip. What happens in today's Mr. Boop? No boops in this one, or I guess any of them said in this world. Panel one, um, Bugs Bunny says, I don't know what to do about him. He's, lo- he's, pan- he's looking at Peter Griffin, who's on the other side of the panel, looking on the right. Um, that is true. This is the flapper shot. We see both uh, Bugs and Peter. Yeah. 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 And Peter Griffin says, yeah. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, yeah. <laughs> He's kind of cross-eyed. Electries. Yeah, he looks like he, he is the whole strip. He's kind of cross-eyed. He's looking like he's um. There's an electries after yeah in his patrol. He's yeah. looking like that episode yeah. where he had a um stroke. I don't. I wouldn't know. You haven't seen it. That was one of the few I have seen. Uh, okay, that doesn't mean I've seen it. <laughs> um. Well, maybe you should have. <laughs> okay. Bit weird. Watch American Dad. I have seen American Dad. It's better. But I saw it when all I was younger. It? No, all of it. Like, maybe it's... Oh, there you go. Because my dad had the DVD box set, and I was like, eh, whatever, I'll watch this. The DVD box set, the full series? No, probably just, like, a season or two. Back then... That's not a, that's not a box set. It was multiple discs. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I watched... You win. Yeah, I do. I know what a box set is. <laughs> you, you boop. Yeah. Panel, uh, panel two. Panel two. Panel two. Panel two is a, a close-up of Peter, I think. Yeah. I'm not looking at it. And there's a big speech bubble coming from him that says he's been he's been mopping around for the last week, <laughs> claiming none of it is, is real, and he's supposed to be married to Betty Boop. Uh, he, he makes, <laughs> he's making no sense around here. No sense at all. <laughs> and Bug says, "I remember," because you know he remembers. Yeah. I, I assume from off panel. Yeah, from off panel. Panel three. Um, yeah, from off to the left, his speech bubble says that. Close up. Yeah, of... Panel three is a close up of bugs. Mm-hmm. Panel two was when Peter was in. Peter was like bar- barely fitting in the panel because his speech bubble was so big. But in panel three, bugs is like taking up most of the panel, and he's doing a talkie, and he's looking. They're both looking. Uh, um concerned or mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. sad all all strip about their friend Alec Alec Robbins and, trying to boost the boot yes Bugs' speech trouble in this panel says eh, maybe he needs psychiatric psychiatric help electrical heart doc doc <laughs> maybe he needs to see a doc doc uh. maybe he needs to see a doc 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 electries <laughs> yeah <laughs> panel four, oh. he says, Peter Griffin is crying. It's close up, Peter Griffin. Yeah, panel four is 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 this is panel one like is the flapper two. shot, by the way. I see. Yeah, we said that. Panel panel four is like panel two, but we see more of Peter. He's he's less off panel, so we see some of his shirt and stuff. Or more off panel. He's got he's got three speech bubbles. He's got he's got a, a single like t- uh, wobbly tear coming from one of his mm-hmm, eyes. Mm-hmm. And he's got a bridge to uh, to his glasses, which he didn't in panel two for some reason. Did you notice that? No, I didn't. Yeah. He's grimacing. You also, you know about that Simpsons thing? Um, 
where when characters hang on he's got three speech rebels okay. first one says i don't know second one says probably and the third one says jesus i just feel awful mm. that's the end of the strip what are you saying um this thing in the simpsons where i'm not too sure if where when characters wear glasses they get like an unnatural flesh slab in the middle of their face because you know usually their eyes are right clever but to get the you know the uh, bridge I'm not sure we I'm not sure what you're saying <laughs> it's um you know that thing in the Simpsons where characters wear glasses and they get like a bit of flesh in between their eyes where it normally wouldn't be can you show me an example no <laughs> the shadow synopsis for this one was the shadow synopsis for this strip was just two really nice guys who care a lot about their friend love those guys there's no joke in this one they're just they're, it's just people uh caring about their friend mm -hmm. this strip sucks <laughs> where's the joke where's when? the joke <laughs> the fuck what is what a stupid comic I'm sorry. Sorry, Alex Robinson. I'm called for. Being at least there's no. At least everyone's clothed, except for. <laughs> uh, well, Bugs has gloves on, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well. Y show me an example of the flesh bridge. Yeah, I'm sending them in the thing. You know what I mean? Oh. Ah, uh, it's, it's weird. It's oh yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, their eyes become smaller too, when it's when it's like sunglasses. When it's <laughs> it's weird. When it's not sunglasses, you can see part of their eyes because mm -hmm. they would know they would, it would they would realize it's weird. Yeah, you, you kind of have to just be weird with art styles sometimes, yeah. like that. Like um, I'm trying to think when it when I have to do something like that. Um, let me look at some of my art and try to pick something out. Vamp. Cha 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 cha. No, not like. Whoa. Not not, not <laughs> jazz <laughs> vamp. Podcast <laughs> vamp. Podcast <laughs> vamp. Don't, don't not jazz vamp. I can do both. So I heard <laughs> about this. Uh... I heard I'm not about sure this. I can find anything on short on the short notice. I heard about this uh podcast event. You guys know about this. <laughs> I think I actively try to uh, avoid that, but it, but You're but not. but, yeah. which is the only reason I can't find anything. But there's but there but I but I do come across weird issues like that yeah. when I'm drawing. It's like oh fuck, how do I not, how do I not have an inconsistency here, mm -hmm. or something? Yeah, most of the it's difficult when you when you design characters in a cartoony way like that. It's like, oh well, now they have to wear a, 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 a nose ring, but they don't have a nose. So I just have to draw like a nose ring in the middle of their face with no. Yeah, <laughs> they're just floating there, I guess. Pretty much every character I draw has glasses, so like it's kind of just it's almost a part of the art style, or at least the world building of whatever comic I'm working on, where it's just like. Yeah, this is just a fit world where everyone has glasses, whatever. Because I just prefer drawing characters with glasses. When you draw, are are they are they? Do you know are they meant to be bigger than the eyes when you draw some? When you draw like glasses, are they meant to be bigger than the eyes, or are the eyes just that big? I don't know. Because when I draw sense. when I draw your sunglasses in my art cell, I draw I make them bigger than the eyes. Hmm. I mean, it's I think it's up to you. That's when right. I I draw most sunglasses like the same size as the eyes, but because in your art style the mm -hmm. the glasses are so big, I draw them like a full circle around Ooh. the eyes. Because otherwise they would just be the exact same shape as the eyes. Most sunglasses I draw they're like flattened on the yeah. top or I, something. Yeah, I don't know. It depends on the art style. When I oh, yeah, mine is probably meant to be bigger. Well, I try to I try to translate and incorporate when I'm getting other people's art. So this this mm. has to be really uninteresting for, <laughs> for <laughs> listeners. Who knows? Maybe it's the most interesting we've ever been. Bean. 
being Jim Davis, which is the podcast you're listening to. Um, yes, are we at the end of it? To, you've been listening to being uh, Jim. Do- being Jim Davis. You've been doing it. You've been doing Jim Davis. You've been doing Jim Davis. <laughs> you can visit the show's website at www.doingjimdavis.com <laughs> <laughs> for a full catalog of, of, of Jim Davis do's. Yeah. Do's and don'ts. And to, yeah, and to sign up to do Jim Davis. Mm. <laughs> for more updates, follow Doing Jim Davis on Twitter. Yeah. Um... I'm Ryan Parfrey. You can find me at www.doingjimdavis.com. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to say that. <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> I'm at KDMillion6 on Twitter or whatever. Mm-hmm. You can wait. Okay, you can find me on Twitter. You can find me at, at doingjimdavis.com. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at um at uh uh, uh at the Chris Winter. <laughs> I only post photos of my Jim Davis. Um. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Inappropriate. Oh, this podcast sucks. Welcome to the world famous Betty Boochie Wiz, what a lucky guy. So in love, my make you puke, she's the apple of his eye. Sit right down, we're gonna give you the scoop with Ryan Pfeiffer and Lisa Dupe. Stamalama ding dong loop de loop, this is the story of a guy named This podcast was brought to you by the Pitch Drop Podcast Network. Like what you just heard? Support the show by going to patreon.com forward slash pitch drop. And while you're at it, check out pitchdrop.net for more of this and other shows.